Are you looking for a way to back up your MacBook or Mac Mini without having to use an external hard drive? In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up the Time Machine service on your free NAS system to do exactly that. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. In this episode, we're going to go through how to use FreeNAS to back up your Mac computers. And trust me, having had a drive fail while I was traveling can make this very handy. Now, just happened to be my backup was at home. I was out in Arizona, so it didn't do me a lot of good. But at least when I got home, I could get what was on Time Machine just prior to my getting on the plane. So this is something, it's another good way to use FreeNAS to back your computers up and not just store files you may need to use for something else, but to help you get back to either a bare metal restore or restoring files that got inadvertently deleted. So this is going to be a good thing to know how to do. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information for any items mentioned in this episode. There are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on that subscribe button now and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. Now, we're going to go through several steps. First is we're we'll review on creating a volume and I'm, I've actually got a separate volume where that all my backups, whether windows or Mac go to, I just, I know you could set limits and put them on the main volume. I wanted to have them segmented just in case. Now we're at this point because it's NAS 11.0 X, we're going to have to use AFP or Apple, Apple talk file protocol services, because at this point there's not support within free NAS to do it over SMB. Now, ac according to one of the developers I've talked to at FreeNAS, that is going to be there, or they've already got it in beta and they're testing with it, but that involves going to 12. But at least this gets you up and running now. And supposedly Apple is moving towards backing up over SMB instead of AFP. It, you know, as long as there's at least one way to do it, that's fine. And then I'm going to show you on how to back up a Mac with Time Machine to FreeNAS. So why don't we go ahead and get started? So at this point, we've got our Mac, I'm sorry, our FreeNAS console. And you'll see here that I've got a backup volume. Now, what we'll do is we'll go down in here to storage, pools, and I've got just the single drive assigned to it. Eventually, I'll probably do mirrored or possibly uh, a RAID Z1 or, or RAID 5, depending on how what terminology you're used to, to do it with. It's a two terabyte drive and it will use, the more machines you're doing this with, especially for Macs, the larger the drive you may have to have because the Macs will use pretty much at this point, whatever is sitting out there. Now that's where with FreeNAS, you could put some quotas potential on it. I've not looked at that because I'm not using that much on the Mac at least the Mac we're backing up to where that's going to be an issue. So once you've got your volume created, then you'll go down here to sharing and you'll go here to Apple shares or AFP and you can see it's already there. So what we'll do is we can edit it just to make sure. And this is where you can put a quota in. Let's go over here and look. Uh, for each time machine backup. So there is a way to do it. So if you had, say, a Mac with a 500 gig drive, you might want to put either like a 750 gig or a terabyte if you've got enough space on the drive for each Mac. And here's why. You want to have at least the full backup on there and several incremental. So if you had a file that appeared in one backup and disappeared in a following one because you deleted it, you want plenty of room to at least have some degree of file retention. So, but at this point, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And you see the path is mount backup. So we're good on that. So at this point, all we've got to do is switch over to our Mac and then go about creating the necessary configuration. And it's really, 
very straightforward. And what we'll do is we'll go up here to the time machine icon and we'll click on time machine. Now, this one has never been set up before to do it. So this is what you would expect to see. And we'll do set up time machine. Now, select backup disk. Now, because we've already got the configuration running with Apple Talk filing protocol, and it may take it a second. Oh, dum dum. I know why. We've got this set. But the service wasn't enabled. Minor point. So if we go to services, and that's the part that I had failed to check. See, now it says running. Most importantly, you want it to start automatically. If you want this every time you restart FreeNAS for it to automatically come up. Okay, that explains that little boo-boo. Uh, okay, see, now it's showing up because the service wasn't there. Now that shouldn't have been a problem. Okay, so we will click on FreeNAS and we will tell it to use this. Now, if you really are being precautious, you can encrypt backups. And that's, a, you know, that's separate from even having the volume encrypted. So again, it's a matter of how cautious you're wanting to be. And it says you're attempting to connect to the server. We will do click on connect. All right, so at this point, it's set to start automatically, and we've got it configured. So if we go up here and click on the little icon again, and let me drop that off, we can say backup now. Okay, there you see this is looking for backup disk. And sometimes it will take a little bit because it's got to go find it. And we should have already gotten it started. Let's make sure with with the way it decided. And I think it is because that icon has changed a little bit. Okay, so enter time machine, skip backup. And if you ever want to see what's going on with the backup while it's running, you can just go into open time machine preferences. And this is the screen that you will get. So this is the part that's going to take a little while. Obviously, I'm not going to keep this running. It will take the first time it runs a backup, be prepared for six to eight hours, possibly longer. It depends how much of the disk space is in use, how much load is on FreeNAS, but you, you get the picture. And let's go back here and look. Okay, so it's preparing backup. Okay, so it did find it. That is a good sign. Now, the preparing backup section is... or label on the screen that's where it's going to just sit there and seem like it's forever but anyway it will work and then you can go up here and see what's going on now there as you can see on the bottom it does have a host of other uh additional backups it's going to be doing it will do snapshots uh as space permits typically i've seen it like once an hour when it'll go do it it'll do daily backups for the past month and you see what everything done here so you can really have a lot of granularity so this is another good thing that your free nas system can do for you is do the regular backups to where it happens and you don't even have to think about it or worry about it so really that's you you couldn't ask for much better than that and worst case if you do have if you do have a drive failure once you get it from back from the apple store if you're having them do it and it's under warranty or if you're doing it yourself then you can use your time machine backup to do a complete bare metal or very close to bare metal restore to it. Again, that's going to take a while, but would you rather have it take a while versus not getting the, having a chance to get the files back at all? So hopefully this is going to help you some in that area. If you're watching this on YouTube, and you probably are right now, you're going to see videos on the screen that are the next steps to the one you've just watched or to other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time. Take care.